Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to day 20 of Quranic contemplations. MashaAllah, as we come closer to the last 10 nights, many of us will be increasing in our du'as. And generally in Ramadan, we should make more and more du'as at certain times when du'as are accepted. Like the time of iftari, sehri, tahajjud, when it's raining particularly in England, we have plenty of chances for that. So completely make dua more and more. One of the duas I always make more in Ramadan and encourage others is, Oh Allah, grant me Qalbi Salim. Now many of you will ask, what is Qalbi Salim? Let's look at today's verse. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإن من شيعته لإبراهيم إذ جاء ربه بقلب سليم الله سبحانه وتعالى says and verily Ibrahim عليه السلام was amongst his kind إذ جاء ربه remember the time when he came to his Lord with قلب سليم a sound heart a pure heart Many of you will question, what exactly is a sound heart, pure heart? People have their own interpretations. Awf rahmatullahi alayhi asked once the great Imam Muhammad ibn Sidin rahmatullahi alayhi, what is qalbi salim? The Imam rep- responded that when you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the truth, number two, to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any doubt, and to believe in the day of judgment without any doubt, and to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will resurrect those in the grave without any doubt. This is Qalbi Salim. Now some people just interpret it as a clean heart and everyone has their own interpretation as a, you just have a clean heart and you're okay, you don't need to pray salah, wear hijab and go to the masjid and read Quran, etc. And this is incorrect. Sometimes people think just forgiving people is keeping a clean heart and it's good. This is encouraged in hadith, but we must remember to do the fundamentals, fasting in Ramadan, zakat, praying salah, etc., acting upon the sunnah, is also important. As for forgiveness, forgiveness is something which is massive, massive in reward. It's huge in the hereafter, because if you forgive people in this world, Allah will forgive you in the hereafter. It reminds me of a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. He was once sat with the companions, and the Prophet ﷺ, he said, the next person to come through the door is a person of paradise. So a man walks through and the companions saw him and recognized him. The next day, the Prophet ﷺ is sat with his companions, the same thing happens. The Prophet ﷺ said, whoever comes through the door is a person of paradise. And the same man walked through, the third day the same thing happened. One companion sitting there got a bit curious as to why is this man such a great man and a person of paradise. So he went up to the Sahabi, who was told that he is a person of paradise, and said, can I stay with you for a few days? The man stayed with him, observed his salah, his tahajjud, um, how he is in the house, but saw nothing different, nothing fantastic. After a few days, he questioned him and told him the background to the story. So the Sahabi said, I don't have many good deeds and I don't do anything different, but every night I forgive people and I sleep with a clean heart. May this be a reminder to us all that we should learn to forgive people. And those who have wronged others, we also need to ask for forgiveness. So as we enter into the last 10 nights, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to seek Laylatul Qadr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all Laylatul Qadr again and again. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free our necks from Jahannam and enter us into paradise. Amen.